Hello everyone, it's Karen here from Stamping with Karen's Breckley. Welcome back to uh, my channel and another Monday video. Um, just wanted to say a great big thank you to my subscribers and I've had a few new subscribers this week so I'm really really chuffed that you uh, wanted to follow along with what I'm getting up to. This week I'd like to share some new product with you. The um, Stamping Up Seasonal Christmas Autumn Winter Catalogue goes live on the 4th of September so just a couple more days to go. Um, as a demonstrator one of the perks that we get is to get access to these products a little bit earlier so that we can have a look at them and play with them and learn how to use them and create some beautiful things to share with you. So today I want to share some products with you from the um, Snowman suite. Uh, I think it might be called Let It Snow. Um, but apologies, I haven't got the catalogue open with me at the moment. It comes with, there's a stamp set, which I shall show you now, uh, which is called Snowman Season. This has got some lovely snowman images as well as some little background images and some sentiments. And there's a really useful to and from there as well. And I think they are spaced on a single stamp. Yes, they are. So that'd be really handy if you wanted to use them on gift tags. And this stamp set um, either comes standalone or it comes bundled with the, the Snowman Builder Punch. So as you can see here, we've got the snowman shape, which is perfectly sized to match the stamp. We've also got the arms, the little carrot nose and the hat. Um, so they're really handy that can be used with the stamps or standalone. Also with the suite, that punch also matches some of the designer series paper. Now the speciality designer series paper, let me, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch that in the light for you, but the speciality nature of this paper is, is it actually being glittered. So there, it's got glitter elements to it. There we go. I think I'm catching that in the light for you now. And some of the images are actually sized to match the punch as well, which is really, really handy. I'll just go through and show you some of the papers now. So we've got mittens on one side and a really lovely stripe on the back. We've got some glittered snowmen and a nice um, red snowstorm on the back. My absolute favourite it has to be this snowflake paper with the coastal cabana and the red. I just absolutely love that as a seasonal winter colour combination. And that's got hats on the back and some of those have got some glitter um, added to them. We've So we've done the hats, we've done the big snowmen. Um, we've got mittens, so we've got lots of different colour mittens and that lovely candy stripe on the back. Did we do that one? Oh, we've done that one already. Um, lots of cute little mini snowmen, really, really sweet they are. And a nice coastal cabana snowstorm on the back. I don't think we've looked at this one. So this is another different page of glittered snowmen. These ones aren't sized to work with the punch, but you could fussy cut them out if you wanted to. And you've got a nice um, candy stripe red on the back there. And the, I think the last of the designs is these beautiful glittered trees. And that has another kind of stripe on the back there. So I'll just, we're gonna use some of these today, but I'll just pop those to one side. I'll keep my, I've got a snowman here that's sitting near the bottom. I'll keep him because I think I'm going to use him. I'll pop the other papers aside and um, I'll select something as we go along. So today I actually thought I would make a couple of cards, but I'm going to make a couple of small cards and I'm going to keep them quite simple. I'm going to really just use punches. Oh, and something else I didn't show you. The embellishment kit that comes with the suite and this oh, is just so adorable look you've got these cute little mittens so these are made of felt and they're stitched so we've got little mittens there we have got i'll just poke one out we've got scarves made of felt we've got these cute little bobble hats aren't they lovely um so you've got those in the shaded spruce, the real red, the coastal cabana, and the flirty flamingo, and all those um, appear in the in the um, papers. Those colours. Um, the embellishment kit also comes with some enamel stickers. So we've got some snowflake arms, noses, um, coal buttons, and coal eyes. So that's really cute. Some little mini snowballs, 
and a lovely roll of glittery washi tape that would add a nice accent to your projects so I'm going to pop that to one side but I'm going to leave it open because I think we may well use that to decorate something today so I'm going to make a couple of I think I'd like to make a couple of small cards this time I think I'm just going to go for a four inch square card so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut myself a four inch strip of coastal cabana I'm going to trim it down to eight inches wide so I just need to take a little tiny piece off of International A4 um, and then I'm going to score it at four inches and that's just going to make me a cute little card blank and I think I'm also going to make one out of real red because that's another colour that appears in coordinating with these papers so I'm going to do Again, take off a four inch strip of real red, going to turn that round, trim it down to eight inches wide, and then I'm going to score it at four inches to make myself a little card blank. So that's lovely, two little card bases there. Whilst I've got my trimmer handy, I'm going to cut some uh, mats to go on the inside of the cards. So I want those to be very, very slightly smaller and narrower than the card base. So I'm going to cut that at three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And I want two of those because I've made two cards. Three and seven eighths. So three and seven eighths, for those of you that like to use metric, is 9.9 .9 centimetres. So that will fit nicely now with a little border just inside the card. So I've got one for the red one and one for the coastal cabana one and four inches is about 10.2 centimetres. So I've done 10.2 centimetres by 20.4 centimetres scored in half at 10.2 centimetres. Quite impressed with myself being able to wing that to be perfectly honest. Okay, now what I was thinking was actually matting um, designer series paper onto these card blanks and so let's choose ourselves a couple of pieces of the designer series paper now I wonder if I've actually got enough of a scrap left here let's have a look so I want these also to be three and seven eighths oh it's not going to be quite big enough so back to the drawing board with that one I'll try and find another piece so here we go, I've got that designer series paper again, so I'm going to cut myself a piece that is three and seven eighths of an inch or 9.9 .9 centimetres by three and seven eighths of an inch or again 9.9 .9 centimetres. So I think I'll perhaps map that on the red one because that will just bring out the uh, the little red speckles there. And now I need to choose one to go onto my blue paper. So I think this time I actually may go for the, uh, the bright red snowstorm. So let's have a look and see if that piece that I've got here is wide enough. Yes, it is just. So I'm going to trim that down to 9.9 .9 centimetres or three and seven eighths of an inch. Just take a tiny piece off there. Okay, so I've now got my card bases and my mats of designer series paper. So the next thing I want to do now is I'm going to punch a circle to stick on the front of the card, which will then be a base for me to put my snowmen decoration. So I'm going to use the two and a quarter inch punch. That's the biggest circle punch that we stock. So I'm going to take a scrap of real red card and punch out a circle so I'm going to pop that one on that card and then I shall get a scrap of coastal cabana and I shall punch that out to go on to the real red so you can see what I'm doing here I'm just kind of toing and froing with my colours so that we've got some nice little layers going on okay so I'm just going to pull up my chair and sit down for this next bit. 
So now what I want to do is I want to cut out my nice little glittery snowman. Um, but he's a little bit high up at the moment, so I'm just trimming off the bottom of the paper so that I can pop my punch in and cut him out. So I'm just lining, eyeballing him now. Sorry, I'm just going to point it more towards me to start with until I think I'm happy with him. So there we go. I've got him all lined up there in the camera. Then I'm going to punch him out. And then I've got myself a lovely, beautiful, glittered snowman. So let's have a look. If we perhaps pop him on this one here. So my snowman needs a hat really, doesn't he? He looks a bit naked without a hat. So I've got some little scraps of card to the side here. So what, what you can do with these builder punches, you don't have to punch out the whole thing all the time. What you can do is you can just poke your cardstock in to cut out the piece that you actually want. So there we go. I've cut myself now a hat for my cute little snowman. And I think he actually also needs some arms. So I've got some soft suede cardstock here because I thought that was a nice woody, woody uh, arm stick colour. And then I'm just going to punch myself a couple of little sticky arms out. So I'm going to put this card together. So what I'm going to do is with some wet glue, I'm going to put the tiniest little dot on the back of the snowman's body so that I can stick the arms down and I'm going to do them sort of facing up a little bit like so let's turn him over and see how that looks oh doesn't he look sweet he's so cute right I'm going to pop him up in some dimensionals add a nice little bit of dimension to my card so we'll have one at the top, one at the middle and one at the bottom. I'll just peel off those backs. Oh. And, oh. and stick him onto this coastal cabana circle. And then I also want to stick his hat down. So I think what I'll do is if I pop a dimensional right at the top of his hat, I think then I should have just enough room for the hat to go over his little top of his little face and also oh stuck to my grid paper hold on there we go got that off so there we go there's a cute little embellishment for our card so I'm just going to stick this one together now I'm going to just add my layer to the middle I may well stamp something on this in a minute but I think I'll just stick it in for now because I am uh, I hadn't pre-planned these little cards I have made a few cards with this stamp set and uh, the all these products but I haven't actually made these ones it was just a little idea I had in my mind and I thought well we can wing it can't we so I'll add on this piece of the lovely designer series paper it almost seems a shame to um to cover up the other side because it's got the glittery snowmen off but you do get two sheets of each in each pack and um certainly if you're using it for cards and and certainly small cards like this you don't use up very much really anyway um now i wonder would he suit a scarf should we have a little look let's see if he might suit maybe a red scarf so I'll just pop out a red scarf and we will see what we think oh yeah I think that looks really cute so what I'm going to do to stick my scarf on is I'm actually going to use some glue dots because I think for really anything that's not sticking paper to paper get down doesn't want to stick I think really a glue dot is just about the best way to go so I'm just going to pop that one down and I may well poke another one underneath as well 
So let's just pick up another glue dot with my piercing tool. I'm going to pop that under there and stick that down. Oh, that is just so sweet. So there we go. Look, we've got our lovely glittery snowman and he's got his cute little felt scarf on. So everything's all nicely layered up. And, you know, why not? I think most of my Christmas cards I end up hand delivering. So it doesn't matter if they've got a bit of bulk and dimension to them. So I'll just take off these dimensional backs and I'm going to stick that on there. Oh, there we go. Stick that on there. Oh, he's so sweet. So I haven't added a sentiment to this card, but I think what I might do is I might stamp this lovely Merry Christmas on the inside of the card. So I'm just going to get my real red ink pad, keeping in with that lovely, nice red theme. Just popping my all my felt embellishments back out into the box so I don't end up losing them. Oh, bit of a stiff ink pad. Right then, so let's ink up this Merry Christmas. Get it the right way round, Karen. That's really, really helpful. So I'm going to line up my card on the grid paper and then that gives me the best possible chance of stamping my sentiment nice and straight. So that's that done. Um, yeah, I think that looks really sweet. Maybe, actually, there are some little, nice little snowflakes. Perhaps we could add those, add a few of those to the inside of the card. So I'll just get myself a little block and perhaps we'll do this in Coastal Cabana, which is the other colour that we've used today. Now, when you buy things in a bundle, you are very much, um, it's usually quite a common thing to use the colours that come with the papers in the bundle. And that's certainly what I've done here. Um, but then when I've had my initial play, I will then start to um, get a bit more adventurous with my colours and things. So there's the inside of that card and there's the outside, our cute little punched out snowman with some of the embellishments there. OK, so the next one is this one here. So I think what I'll do first is I will stick down the inside of the card and stick down the paper because they're sort of pretty standard things that we're going to do. And the uh, the creativity will come when we do our, our bit of stamping next. Okay, and I'm going to stick down. I don't know if the, to be honest, I don't know if the hats will ever get used with me because I absolutely love this Coastal Cabana and Red snowflake pattern it's really really lovely my favorite in the whole pack i think okay so oh let's just straighten that up a little bit there we go that's the nice thing about using wet glue you do have a few seconds to get everything moved around so there's our card base and so what we can do now is we could stamp ourselves a snowman and we can punch him out and we can decorate him. So I've already got Mr. Snowman on a block. I'm going to take a piece of white, this big piece of white cardstock that I had left over from earlier. And I'm going to stamp out Mr. Snowman so that I can then punch him out and decorate him. So tap, tap, tap on my Memento black ink pad. And I'm just going to pop him down here. What a sweet little man he is. Lovely, lovely little snowman. OK, so that's him stamped out. So I'm now going to cover up my memento ink pad before I end up putting my arm in it or putting a card in it. And I'm going to punch out my snowman. So, um, just like with when I was stamping out from the designer series paper, I've orient, oriented, orientated my stamp to make sure that it will slide into the punch. So I'm going to line that up now and it gives you just a little white border all the way around. So you just, um, I always find it easier with punches to have a look 
underneath and you can get that all nicely lined up. Um, another top tip, the punches are really quite strong and they will give you a nasty blister if you catch your fingers. So hold it with your palms of your hands away from where the punch will close. So there we go. Health and safety tip from stamping with Karen Spreckley there. <laughs> Don't want anybody getting any nasty blisters. Ask me how I know. Yes, it hurts. Now, I think what I might do is I might add a little bit of sparkle to no, a little bit of colour, I think. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the light smoky slate marker. Now, usually with um, snowmen, the colours people tend to go for are either a pale grey or a pale blue. And I'm going to go for a pale grey today. Um, I've also got my pumpkin pie blend, my dark one to colour up that little carrot nose of his. So just a tiny bit of colour there. Now, I'm not the world's expert colourist. Colorist. There are some awesome YouTubers out there who do lots of amazing colouring with Copic markers. Um, I won't, um, I'm not going to name them because I can't think of them off the top of my head. But yeah, there are lots of people. If you, if you look for either colouring with Copic markers, alcohol markers, stamping up blends, ours are called blends, the stamping up ones, and I love them. Um, but a lot of people um, have historically bought things like Copic, so they do lots of colouring with them. Watch them and see what they do. But really, to keep it nice and simple, what I do is I think, where would I have a shadow? So I think that the middle ball sitting on top of the bottom ball would create a shadow. Um, with me, the light always comes from the top right. I don't know why, probably comes from when I was a little girl at school and I used to paint a big orange sun in the corner of the paper. Um, so what I tend to do is I just apply myself a little bit of colour um, where there would be some darkness, okay? And I've used the light smoky slate blend. Now I'm going to take the colour lifter and I'm actually going to use that to blend my light smoky slate back into the white really because I just want a hint of colour I don't want lots and lots of colour I just really want a hint of colour just to say that you know this is a this really is a three-dimensional object it's not just a piece of cardstock sitting on the card it just really kind of helps bring things alive so if you have shopped with me in the last 12 months then I should have already sent you a catalogue if you haven't received one yet please do um, let me know um, alternatively if you don't have a current stamping up demonstrator I'm more than happy to send out a complimentary cat uh, copy of the um, autumn winter catalogue to you if you're in the UK France Germany uh, the Netherlands or Austria they're the only countries that my demonstrator agreement allows me to work with um, however, wherever you are in the world, welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me. Um, if you are in any of those EU countries, then all of the products that I've used to make this are linked in the description bar below. And you'll also find links to all my other various social media bits and pieces. So as you can see there, hopefully, it's just added a little bit of dimension um, just a little bit of something to my snowflakes, to my snowman, so that he's not just sitting there completely flat. OK, so I think what I now might also do is I'm going to take those snowflakes and I'm going to stamp tone on tone onto this circle. So I'm just going to take the snowflakes and I'm just going to stamp around on this two and a quarter inch punched circle that we did earlier. Just a little tiny one there. So that's lovely. OK. So, Mr Snowman, we've got you a nice circle to sit on and um, we've got you sitting there. But I think we really need to add you a hat and some arms as well. So I'm going to do exactly the same as I did before. I'm taking a scrap of black cardstock. I'm just going to pop that into my punch and I'm going to punch out a hat for our snowman. And then I'm also going to use a scrap of, um, what did I say this colour was? Soft suede to generate him a couple of little wooden looking arms. And I think something else I might 
quite like to add to this card is some of the one of the new ribbons that's in the autumn winter catalogue excuse me i'm just ferreting around trying to find it and it is called the it's real red ruched ribbon and it's absolutely beautiful it's a lovely wide ribbon i think it's probably about an inch wide yes it is and it's got this lovely uh ruched detail on it so i'm thinking what i might do is i might add that as a little accent underneath this card so as before i think i'm going to stamp merry christmas on the inside using real red so i'll just line up my card on my grid paper really love working on grid paper because it makes it nice and easy for me to line things up um, so I think as before I'm going to use some glue and some dimensionals to stick my cutie cutie little Mr Snowman together and perhaps we'll give him a scarf as well we'll have a little look maybe some mittens oh maybe a bobble hat yes let's give him a bobble hat so I'm just going to stick the little sticky arms on, just tiny, tiny little bit of wet glue, turn him over to have a look. Yeah, they're in about the right place, aren't they? Uh, grab myself some dimensionals and I'll pop a couple of those on the back and then I'm going to stick him down. So what I'll do, I'll probably keep that little hat in the stamp case and then I've got one pre-cut for another another card project then so I'll just pop him down there now then let's find I think we might go for some of the coastal cabana um, felt embellishments this time because I think that'll be in good contrast to the red oh just look at that so if we pop that on or does it get a bit lost? Let's try a red one just to see the difference and which one we prefer. Um, oh, actually, I think maybe a red one because I think the other one might get a little bit lost. Now, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to try a dimensional on the back of the felt hat. I don't know how well they, they stick or anything. I've never tried one, but let's give it a go. See if it works. So I'm going to, oh, there's a few little bits of fluff. I'm just going to tuck those out of the way. I'm going to pop that, oh, over his little head. <laughs> Cute. And how about, um, no, I think we'll leave the scarf on this one. So what I'm going to do, because I want to add some of the ruched ribbon, I'm going to take some snail and I'm going to run some lines of snail adhesive down the back of our circle and so where's Mr Snowman's that way so then I think what I'd like to do is probably want a, a nice end so if that's the middle, I need to come up to the end. Oh, do you know, I always do this the wrong way round. Look, I wanted to do a nice little flag end and I've ended up doing a pointy end. Right, let's go the other way. OK, so that's what I wanted. So I think the ruched ribbon is the same on both sides. So I'm just going to pop that there. Then I'm going to fold it over. Don't want it sticking out too far because it's only a little card we're making. And then I'll give myself a little bit of slack just in case I do the same trick as I did before. I wouldn't put it past me. So I'm going to fold up the ribbon and try and get it approximately the same length as the other side. Oh, yay, I did it right this time. Awesome. Oh, look at him. Isn't he cute? Oh, and that lovely ribbon. Yeah, that's really nice. I think I might need to make it just a little bit shorter, though. So I'm going to decrease the size of the loop that's poking out that side. And I'm going to decrease this. This is what happens when you're, uh, you're just flying by the seat of your pants. Nothing's scripted. Nothing's planned. We're just seeing how this whole thing works out. 
that's better so right let's go for it more dimensionals because i love them so this video has ended up being a little bit longer than some of the others i've done um, because we ended up making two little card projects but i think they're super cute right then so let's pop you little cheeky mr snowman roughly in the middle there yeah that looks about right to me so we've got our two little card projects made today then using the snowman season stamp set and coordinating products absolutely beautiful um, and I can't wait for you all to see the new catalogue because in my opinion it is the best one we've had um, for quite a few years um, really something to suit everybody it's really lovely so thank you very much everybody I um, hope you're doing well on this Monday morning and I look forward to seeing you all soon thank you bye bye <laughs>